Have you ever wondered about the power that may reside within us? I'm not talking about physical strength or material riches. I'm talking about a much deeper force, one that can defy the very limits of reality as we know it. Imagine a parallel world, governed by mystical creatures called hollows ghostly beings formed by human souls corrupted by despair and thirst for vengeance. A dark and haunting realm where death is just the beginning of a much more sinister journey. It was in this world that a man dared to defy the established rules. Sosuke Aizen, a brilliant strategist and unmatched manipulator, conceived a plan as audacious as it was ambitious, to form an elite army composed of the most powerful hollows, known as Espada. Ten unique warriors, each wielding a blade as sharp as their own soul. They were the elite of the hollows, the most fearsome and ruthless, with chilling powers that defied human understanding. And Aizen shaped them in his image, with one single goal in mind, to subjugate the spiritual and material worlds under his dominion. Let's embark on this dark journey, where the line between heroes and villains becomes blurred, and the concepts of loyalty and betrayal are tested at every turn. Let's meet the members of this terrible brotherhood, the Espada, and unravel the secrets behind their supernatural powers and dark motivations. Let's start with Coyote Stark, the first Espada, a man of unassuming appearance but with a chilling power. Stark was the embodiment of loneliness, able to summon legions of spiritual wolves to fight by his side. His inseparable companion, Lilinette, was actually an extension of his own being, a physical manifestation of his other half. In contrast, we have Berrigan Luzenbairn, the arrogant second Espada. An elder whose aged appearance concealed an immense strength, absolute control over time and senescence. With a glance, he could age any opponent to the brink of death, turning even the sturdiest defenses to dust. And what about Neliel II Odelschwank, the gentle warrior who once held the title of third Espada? Her delicate appearance hid an unmatched ferocity, capable of summoning spiritual spears with a mere thought. But her true strength lay in her compassion, a rare quality in this dark world. Then, there's Olquiora Cypher, the fourth Espada, a being as cold and calculating as he was lethal. His San Picudo, Murcielago, bestowed upon him wings as black as night, allowing him to soar through the skies with the sinister grace of a winged demon. But his true power lay in his ability to manipulate darkness itself, summoning black energy spears capable of annihilating any opponent. And how could we forget Neutra Gilga, the fifth Espada, whose cruelty knew no bounds? With his long bifurcated tongue and demonic gaze, he embodied the darkest despair. His Sampakudo, Santa Teresa, transformed his body into an unstoppable killing machine, covered in razor-sharp thorns. With each Espada, a new layer of mystery and power was revealed. Grimjow Jagerjax, the fierce sixth Espada, capable of summoning claws of pure energy to tear through his enemies. Zamari Ruros, the seventh Espada, whose hypnotic eyes could ensnare any mind in an endless illusion of pleasure and pain. Then, there was Sailaporo Grands, the brilliant and insane eighth Espada, a master of experimentation and genetic manipulation. His grotesque creations challenged nature itself, while his disturbed mind sought answers in a bottomless abyss of forbidden knowledge. And how could we forget Araniero Araruri, the enigmatic ninth Espada? A being composed of two heads, each harboring a distinct consciousness, united in a macabre symbiosis. His ability to devour and absorb the abilities of his opponents made him an unpredictable and deadly adversary. Finally, we have Yami Largo, the colossal tenth Espada, whose brute strength was capable of crushing entire armies. His released form revealed a furious giant, with a reatsu so vast that it distorted reality itself. Each of these warriors possessed a unique history, dark motivations, and powers that defied human understanding. Together, they formed a formidable army, loyal only to Aizen and his unbridled ambition for power. But even among these titans, there was a strict hierarchy, with each Espada bearing a number representing their relative strength. And above them all reigned Aizen himself, the architect of this dark army, manipulating his pawns like a master chess player. The Espada's journey was marked by epic battles, unexpected betrayals, and unlikely alliances. They faced the most powerful warriors of the Soul Society, the Shinigami, in conflicts that shook the very foundations of reality. Through this engaging narrative, we will explore not only the supernatural powers of the Espada but also the motivations that drove them. We will discover how loneliness, arrogance, despair, and the thirst for knowledge led them down dark paths, shaping their destinies in unimaginable ways. Prepare for an epic journey through the spiritual realms, where the line between life and death becomes blurred, and the concepts of good and evil are challenged at every step. Immerse yourself in this intricate plot, where dark secrets await to be revealed, and the power to transform reality lies in the hands of those bold enough to defy it.
And when all is said and done, one question will remain, in a world where even the most powerful can fall victim to their own ambitions, who truly holds the fate?